pupils have become a lot more confident in their maths. I mean, they've moved away from having the red table and the blue table, and they're all working together as a class. So some of the um, schools I've been into, you see a huge buzz in the maths classrooms, which is great to see. And one little girl I saw in one school, um, I think she must have been about f five years old, and she said, oh, I'm a, I'm a mathematician. And I thought that was just lovely. I thought, when would a five-year-old ever say that? Putting that child at the centre of the learning, having the child as the expert, is absolutely fundamental in the shift we're having at our school now. The teacher's no longer the expert, delivering. Everything com everything's coming from the child, and that's been a delight for us. The children's assertiveness, when you ask them, are you sure that's right? And they come back, yes, I'm sure that's right, because it's just wonderful to see. They feel fully involved in their learning and within the sessions. Their mathematical vocabulary has really improved and um, there's an excited buzz in math sessions. I think the children have definitely got better at um, explaining everything that they do in maths um, because that's really emphasised in, in the approach and um, they're used to being asked lots of questions and they're getting better at communicating with each other as well. When they understand every little bit and how it works, because they've built up to it gradually, they don't make mistakes like they used to. You know if a child is carrying the seven instead of the one, they don't know why you're carrying. But if they understand it, they know it has got to be the one. And by having the conversations and the discussions and the problem solving and giving the time to really get in down to it, mm. makes it a lot more effective than just teaching the strategy off you go and practice. We've been concerned for a while about the vertical trajectory and that you know, we're imposing that on children. So therefore, we're not giving them enough time to master everything that they're coming across. Their whole approach is so pedagogically sound, it makes it, it, makes it completely compelling. Not, I've, I've not seen anything like this in education ever. It's great being able, being able to use that concrete approach because actually, they've started to really kind of harbour an interest and a love for mathematics through doing. And with the children that I particularly teach, um, actually that doing and the practical side of maths is far more beneficial to them because I think they learn far more through doing and exploring and trying and, and, they have a, and it's developed a good stamina for them for when they get things wrong to keep trying and try again and to develop and harness their enjoyment of mathematics. Children are beginning to, children who might have not enjoyed mathematics in the past are beginning to kind of say, oh, we love doing mathematics and, you know, funny example, we were talking to the children not even about maths, just about school in general in my class and loads and loads of them said, oh, I love maths, we, want, we should do more maths. And so that, that's one of the impacts is that they are really enjoying doing it, even children who find it difficult, whereas traditionally you might find the children who find maths difficult are switched off or turned off maths, but at the moment doing this, the things we're seeing is that that doesn't make a difference, they're still enjoying it.